I'm here at the Colorado School of Trades. I want to introduce you to the owner, Ryan Lushner. Gavin Gu here from ultimatereloader.com. Ryan, thank you so much for having me out. Thanks for joining us, Gavin. Pleasure to have you here. This is so exciting to be here. I mean, this, this really gets my juices flowing. This is quite a facility, quite a school, quite a great group of people, really. Absolutely. I mean, we, we try our hardest to turn out the best gunsmiths in the industry, and we are trying to continue to grow and build our program. To, to help the industry and we've found that that's our place to fall within the, mm -hmm. the industry is to train these entry-level gunsmiths. Well, looking at what the students are doing here, I'm a little jealous of their broad exposure to everything from cycle of operation to different types of firearms to just a lot of those specialty skills that you're not going to get anywhere, like working with wood and, and letting a stock by hand and then working up through different things. It's just a really great way to get that general background that you need to be successful in the industry and you actually went through the program is that correct i did so i started school here in 2005 and graduated in 2006. Mm -hmm. um, after that i continued on with a, a national retailer and and kind of climbed the ladder there from firearm sales to atf compliance i've taught here at the school i have actually had the unique opportunity to work every position in this school oh, wow. prior to becoming an owner so wow and so how did that come about so i to, to buy the school essentially yeah, absolutely <laughs> that's great kind of question. crazy um i had taken a little bit of a, a break from the school and pursued a career in federal law enforcement um, and came back to the school and it was it was offered for me to purchase this from the prior family mm -hmm. um, that was just about two and a half years ago we've continued since the purchase to to try to grow and expand the school the big push we're making is just to stay current with with what the industry is doing right now. Yeah, I think it's really exciting when someone, fresh blood essentially, can take what's a great program and, or a great company even and keep the DNA, right? Keep, keep what the purpose of what the school is about, but then just take a modern take on it or, you know, bring in new technology, you know, and then obviously people, you know, there's there's constantly new people coming in, new students, new instructors, and all that. So tell me about this school as it stands today. So today we're continuing to, to advance. Um, where we're at right now is our CNC lab. These are a little bit older machines, but we're looking to update that. Um, mm -hmm. We are looking to continue ways to have students work on new firearms. We've got a repair facility that's open to the general public, so our nice. students are actually working on live customer work. <laughs> As we move forward, we're looking at structuring things a little bit different and starting to offer things like maybe action blueprinting that you and I have talked about. Um, we're morphing the, the rifle that students build as part of the curriculum into something that's a little bit more modern and has right. a little bit more current take. Yes, mm -hmm. it's still going to follow the American classic line, but using modern um, Remington clone actions, things right. like that. That's really awesome that students get to build basically a bolt action rifle from scratch, right? They're taking the action, they're building their own stock, they're chambering their own barrel. Uh, I think that's an excellent like lab, if you will. It, it absolutely is. We've, we've found that that is the perfect kind of paramount piece to halfway through the program that our students are getting to, to culminate one project and all the skills they've learned and build that project rifle. And that's a portfolio piece or a hunting rifle or you know a PRS or a, a distance shooting mm -hmm. rifle that they can take with them. Yeah. We've got a little bit of guidelines as far as it's not an open book for what you do on that first project. <laughs> yeah. It, it's still a stepping stone, but we, we're very proud of that project and the students love that project that they leave here with a rifle that they've built. Yep. And, you know, as a gunsmithing shop owner myself, I'm looking to hire great talent and it's going to be someone that has that kind of hands-on experience running a lathe, running a mill. You know, we talked about students starting without a DRO. Absolutely. You, know, you gotta start at the bare metal sure. and, and know, you, you never know what kind of shop you're gonna work on or what kind of equipment you're gonna have. And then if you have those modern conveniences of CNC or DROs or whatever it happens to be, obviously that's an easy thing to adopt. But to go the other way around, you know, if you haven't started there would be a little bit of a challenge, I think. It absolutely is. And, and another cornerstone of our, our program is we approach everything as an apprenticeship. So again, with our, whether it's the, the project rifle we build or our repair facility, 
students are working on real live work. So if they were to come work in your shop, mm -hmm. the first muzzle break or the first muzzle they're threading for a suppressor is not the first one they've done. Exactly. We understand there's other programs out there that they've maybe mocked that up, mm -hmm. whereas they could be working on your personal rifle that you've brought to us through our repair shop, mm -hmm. and they understand what it takes to, to start that project, complete it, and then get it back in the hands of a customer and do a satisfactory job. I also think it's great that you're involved directly hands-on in the program. It's not like you're sitting off in an office. You're out here working with the students and teaching and stuff like that. Is, is that part of what keeps you feeling like you're uh, fully up to speed and have like the pulse of what's going on? With it the it absolutely it? is. I, I by no stretch am a businessman. Um, <laughs> I've, I've had to learn as I go, but I'm a gunsmith at heart. This yeah. is what I've done since I've been 18 years old. This is what I love to do. I love my time here at the School of Trades teaching. Um, so it's a very unique opportunity that, yes, I have you know the background office school to run position, mm -hmm. but I still love machine shop. I love wood stocks and stock making with mm -hmm. a passion. Um, you know, my, my kind of personal niche and, and place in the industry has always been long range, lightweight hunting rifles. Mm -hmm. I love to hunt anything and everything on North America to where when I get to spend my time out here with the students, whether it's teaching them how to thread or install a muzzle brake or inlet a stock, that's what still makes the world go round for me. I think that's really awesome because a lot of today's younger folks are probably more familiar with video games and social media. And, and I think for some people that are maybe more mechanically minded and want to work with their hands, they might struggle to have as much of a, per, a connectedness sure. with, with real life and real trades and all that. Uh, I know for myself, I was always a hands-on person. You know, I, I, running a lathe is what made me want to be a mechanical engineer. And now I'm back doing gunsmithing, you yes. know? So tangible, real skills that someone can, you know, put to use and see something real in front of them that they've built. I mean, that must be exciting to see with with these kids. The growth that we see in our students from, from when they first start school to when they graduate 14 minutes later, that's why all of us are here. And, yeah. and, and as you said, we have students that ha potentially have a background in this or they've done something that's a little bit more mechanically inclined compared to others. Mm -hmm. There's room in our program for them to take their time and succeed in, in different avenues or challenge themselves and take on a little bit more complex problem. Mm -hmm. The students that come to us that have spend the majority of their time playing computer games or video games. Come check out what we have to offer because we start at the bare bones basics. We're gonna teach you how to use a hacksaw. We're gonna teach you how to use a file. We're gonna go through the different stages and, and steps of polish and get you to where you need to be. And some of our students that truly excel the most are the ones that have never done this because they're a blank canvas to start with and work with. <laughs> I, I'll say it again, I'm kind of jealous of some of the experiences that the students get here. I remember doing my first bedding job half what I found on the internet, half what was typed up in an email from someone in the industry and now I've got to figure it out on my own, Absolutely. right? That's really different than having someone that's really experienced show you, you know, like this is how much you need to mix. This is what, how it should set up. This is how much to trim off. You know, that's just, that's really, really awesome. And, and gunsmithing jobs, a lot of the older gunsmiths are dying off and, and a lot of that knowledge is, is, is dying and the shops are closing. So. To have a new generation of folks, whether they be 18 year olds, 20 year olds, or 60 year olds that are changing their career is, is really awesome because there's such a huge need, huge need for this stuff. It, there is. Um, we work very hard with, with shops all over the nation to place our students. Mm -hmm. We work very hard with the industry to make sure what we're teaching is, is current and, and real. Yeah, and then, like CNC. Like for CNC, yeah. um, as you mentioned with the, with the stock making. We have instructors. We try to do everything we can to have everything be that hands-on nature, have an instructor looking over your shoulder, but at the end of the day, our ultimate goal is to build that autonomy in you and get you to where you can start a project and run all the way through that. And again, get that done to where it's the industry standard and a customer would be more than happy to, to have that work done on their fire. Yeah, good help is hard to find. It is. So I might talk to some of the students here to see if they want a job with me later, if that's okay. <laughs> that, absolutely. I think we've got a couple that'd be a fantastic fit for you. Nice. 
So that's kind of where the school is at today. Tell me, as you look forward five or 10 years, you know, like what you envision for the school. Absolutely, we want to just continue to really grow things. We want to, to stay current with the industry. Um, through the years, we've, whether it's a contact in the industry or it's our program advisory committee, we've added things like CNC, we've added things like TIG welding. Um, Which is awesome, by the way. <laughs> Another thing I would love to have taken here, uh, Sure. Super good stuff. The TIG welding, we're not going to teach you to be a full-on pipeline welder, but we're going to approach that from a gunsmith stance and think about things like heat treats and locking surfaces. We're really looking to advance things in and stay current with, with what the shooters are doing out there. So if that's maybe a move to where we focus more on PRS rifles or, or some of the, the different firearms we'd use in three gun. Mm -hmm. Coatings are obviously a huge thing as you I all know. I love that you have Cerakote here and that you have a deep working relationship with Nick Industries. Absolutely. That is so cool. People flying out here to help teach. You guys going to take the training. I'm going again in October to take advanced training. I love this. Stuff. That, it, it's, it's a fantastic <laughs> product. And obviously, kudos to, to NIC for what they've done for the industry and for our school. Um, in, in continuing ed and trying to keep our instructors up to speed with what the industry is doing, We'll be at a point at the end of this year where every instructor at this school will be a certified applicator. That is awesome. So <laughs> little things like that, um, making connections within the industry and, and picking different gunsmiths or, or, again, different facets of the industry's brain as to what we can do better. Yeah. That's, we know how to teach gunsmithing, but we really rely on the industry as to what do we need to be teaching and what's relevant in the shops as of today. Yeah, that's the right answer you know, to be innovating, right? Absolutely. And that's the stuff that I'm doing on my channel because I know that's what people are interested in seeing and it's what I'm interested in doing as well. And, and we can't forget about some of the older firearms in the industry. I mean, you've seen everything here at our facility that we can work on the old Winchesters. We can, again, work on everything that's, that's new and modern and students are gonna have an opportunity to really find themselves and find their place in the industry as to maybe I'm, Maybe I'm a coder, maybe I'm a, a finishing specialist, mm -hmm. maybe machine work is what I care about. But we try to get everybody a, a good foundational start in all of those and let them run with the info we've passed on to them. Love it. Super, super good stuff. Thanks again, Ryan, for Absolutely. the talk. Thank you. And call to action for you all. First off, what do you think about what the School of Trades is doing? Drop a comment, let's start a discussion. Second, go to schooloftrades.edu to find out more. And third, you should come down here. If you get, get down here in Colorado, take the tour, meet the people, really, really good stuff. That concludes this video, and that means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, we're on Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, where we've got unrestricted content, and Instagram. Make sure to follow us on all those channels. Ultimate Reloader also has a commercial solutions division serving law enforcement, the military, and the gun industry. We have some unique capabilities, including a comprehensive suite of recoil testing and evaluation capabilities, trigger profiling, and more. If you're interested in custom rifles like what we build here on the channel or gunsmithing services, you're gonna to wanna to go to rifles.ultimatereloader.com and get on the wait list. If you wanna learn lucrative gunsmithing like what I show here on the channel, including building custom rifles and Cerakote plus a whole bunch more, you're gonna to wanna to check out the Colorado School of Trades, schooloftrades.edu. Thanks again for watching.